I finally got volume one on the seven day since yesterday, and I just say it was a really good first volume. Like just a great way to start off a series. I mean, a lot of first volumes I've read, they're like so freaking boring, and you just have to give them a while for the for the story to pick off. But this one is good. So basically, this is a kid called Melodius, and he owns his tavern with his talking pig, forgot his name. And one day he meets Elizabeth, who is a princess that ran away from home to look for the seven day sins. Now, the Sunday Sins were this group of knights for this kingdom. And one day, the king were assa was assassinated. They got the blame, got banished. Everyone wants to kill them, and they think they're villains. But the real villains in this story are the Holy Knights. The Holy Knights just do whatever they want. They kill people whenever. They don't care who they hurt. And yeah, they're real villains. That's why Elizabeth needs to follow the Sunday Sins. And it just so happens that Lotus is one of the Sunday Sins himself. He's the son of wrath. Which is ironic, because, like, you know, Melodius, he's the type of guy who will kick ass and be calm throughout doing it. Like, like that's why I like him so much. He's so freaking awesome. Like, in the first volume, like, this is Giant Knight guy. He was, like, like you know, destroying the whole forest and stuff. And he just one-hit KO'd him. He was so freaking calm about it. He was awesome. By the way, the fight scene, there's not much action in this series. But when they do fight, it's like some Dragon Ball Z stuff. I mean, not exactly Dragon Ball Z, but it's crazy. A bunch of explosions and, you know, people getting knocked through buildings. It's crazy. And plus, the art style does look a little bit like Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's just Shonen, but, you no, know, no, Shonen is really do like Dragon Ball Z. But this one looks like, mo looks most like Dragon Ball Z to me. I mean, some people say they don't like the art because it looks too much like Dragon Ball Z and it looks too much like an old manga. I mean, I don't know what they mean by it looks like an old manga because it doesn't really look that old. In fact, I really love the artwork. You know, it's great. I love the medieval theme in it. I just love the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages were the best. A bunch of knights, dragons, and mages. That's why RPGs are great. I mean, you don't. I mean, we don't see much story in the first volume, but we do get to see all these great moments with the characters. You really get to like them. Elizabeth, you know, she tries hard. She wants to be useful to Melodius, and I really like that girl. She kind of looks like a little bit like Mary Jane from Fairy Tale. And, you know, she's really cool. We have Diana, who appears in the last two chapters of the volume. She's, like, obsessed. Like, not obsessed, but she has this big crush on Melodius. It's a one-sided relationship. She acts like Julia. And, you know, you know, she says that Melodius is her boyfriend when he really isn't. You know, and, she you know, she's quick to, I mean, quick to assume things. She thought that Melodius was cheating on her with Elizabeth, even though they aren't even in a relationship. And she started pounding that guy. And Melodius only got hurt a little bit. And by the way, Diana is a giant. She's a freaking giant. She's cool. She's a cool character. She has the sin of envy. I could get that. Because, you know, she's jealous. She's jealous of, you know, Melodius or whatever. Because, you know, she's always envying people. Because she doesn't want anyone to be with him and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. And so far, it was a great volume. It was really good. You need to check it out. I hope, like... You know, in a few years or even a few months, an anime gets announced because you know, it's really good. I can't wait for more volumes to come out in America. And it has more than 2.7 million copies in Japan. So it's not like it's an unknown series. I mean, more people need to talk about this. I mean, you know, it gets a good amount of talk right now, but still. It's a great shonen series. I haven't seen a shonen this good in a while. Last shonen. I don't mean dark shonen. I mean, you know, just a regular, light-hearted shonen. You know, it's a great series with nice action. You know, we don't see that much. Nice characters, nice story, not nice art. So, yeah, I hope you guys pick up the series. And if you already read this manga, what do you think about it? Does it live up to the hype? Because I, I think it definitely lives up to the hype. And see you guys next time.